So here we go, guys. The next journey begins. We are in Spain. We are taking over Girona FC. Yes, I did a career mode in, I think it was FIFA 19, which was a youth academy career mode, youth academy only with Girona. And I thought, I want to do a proper one with them. So here we are. We are going to do at least three or four seasons. And my main objective isn't going to be winning the Champions League. I've already explained in the vote video. And by the way, Girona absolutely smashed the vote. So thank you for voting. Thank you for letting me know this is what you wanted to see. And actually, it was my preferred choice. So I'm very excited about this. But my ultimate goal will not be to win the Champions League because I don't want to be doing six, seven, eight seasons, which honestly, I think with Girona, they've got a good side. It's not brilliant. It's not fantastic. Yes, they're top of the league right now or joint top in La Liga or at least they were a week ago or so, but they're not going to be there forever. That's very obvious to me. I think they would need at least five or six seasons to genuinely push to win La Liga and the Champions League, and I'm just not looking to do that. So for me, all I want is a top four finish and a Europa League victory. That's what I want, and I mean win the Europa League, not win a game. <laughs> so let's just jump straight into this. It's going to be a proper old school career mode where I just play the damn game. I'm just going to play the game and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to be making somewhat realistic signings. We're not going to be going for anything crazy. I'm not signing the best young players in the game and stuff like that. We're going to keep the main core of this team together and sprinkle in some special signings in certain positions. So Stuani, the captain up front, he has, oh God, um, <laughs> um, what was his first name? Oh, I've forgotten his first name as well. Sigankov, I'm, I'm going to have to learn how to say it, but he is going to be my cam. I think he's going to be fantastic. Of course, he can easily play out on the right side. I should say I've got mods. They're ready for this career mode. At the moment, there aren't too many available, but I'll be using boot mods. I'll be making new kits. I'll be doing all of that stuff. And any Youth Academy players that come in, I'll be giving them a face as I did with every other career mode I've done with, um, with mods. So... Um, I've also changed a couple of player positions because it was going to take like half a season for some of them. And I just think it's stupid. So um, Sigankov, Sigankov, Sigankov. I'm going to go with him at as the cam. Uh, Savio on loan. He is not going to be with us next season unless we buy him permanently. But I've converted him to a right winger instead of a left winger. You guys know I like my wingers to be inverted. So he will be on the right. We have Porto at the moment on the left side. Bit of a veteran. He's 31 years old. At least I think he is. Yep, 31 years old. He will be my left winger at the start. And then, of course, with our Man City ties. Don't forget, this club is owned by City Group which means we could maybe form a little relationship with Man City players, get a couple in on loan maybe. Garcia used to play for Man City when he was a youngster. I think he went on loan a few times. He's now permanent at Girona and he is arguably their best player and I think I'm actually going to make him captain. And then we have Herrera next to him, who is also ex-City, I believe. Then in defence, we have Martinez. He is going to be a superstar. We have Garcia, ex-Man City, on loan from Barcelona at the moment. We'll look to maybe make that permanent if he's really good. We've then got Lopez. Yeah, <laughs> he worries me a little bit with his lack of pace. Um, so we will definitely be looking into signing a centre-back, maybe a left-footed centre-back. And then we have Gutierrez, another fantastic player. I like Martinez on the right side of defence. Just super young, super potential. Cannot wait to use these guys. And then on the bench, we have Blind. He's a bit of a, a legend these days, isn't he? He's played so in so many leagues, so many teams. We've then got Kuto on loan from Man City as well. This guy is going to be a superstar, I'm sure of it. I've converted him to right back. I didn't want to use him as a right winger or a left winger. I do, I potentially think he could get away playing in midfield, maybe as a centre mid. But for now, he's a right back. We have Solis. We have Martin. Uh, Dovbik, I don't know how good he's going to be, but he's got relatively good stats. I think maybe looking at a striker might be a good idea. We've got Valerie, who was a, I think he was left back or left mid or something like that. And I thought, I've got too many. I want to have him as a left winger. I think the stats suit him for that. So just a couple of position changes. If you're going to be doing a career mode alongside with me, you'll notice a couple of these players are in different positions for me. And we've got Villa. I think he could be good. Or Villa, maybe that's how you pronounce it. And honestly... The reserves aren't great. We've got Torre on loan from Barcelona. 
We've got Garcia. He's been at the club for a long time. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not going to use him, but for now, I couldn't really find a spot for him. Not even on the bench. I think he's probably going to be doing one season here. We've got Kebe, um, Espinosa. Honestly, defense. Defense is an issue. We need a centre back. So. Before we do anything else, let me show you who I've got on my transfer list. So let's um, do positions. So we've got Copete, I think that's how you say it. Six foot four, left footed centre back, could be nice. We've got Boschagli, Boschagli. I've, I've used him before in a career mode. He's absolutely incredible. The only downside to having him would be that he's a little bit on the shorter side, five foot 11. We've got Luchumi from Bologna, six foot two, left footed. I thought he could potentially be a good player, but at 25, Probably going into his prime soon. He wouldn't be an absolute superstar signing, would he? And then we've got Totti Gomez, a player that I almost signed in the Arsenal career mode. I think he's going to be my my favourite. I think, I don't know, I think he could be extremely good for us. Um, Gomez from Man City. I'm wondering if I could maybe secure his services on loan. We've then got Javier Pardo, Pardo, if that, that's how you pronounce it. He's playing in the second division right now with Espanyol. They got relegated. Um... No, <laughs> there's no way he should be playing in the second division. And I'm sure he loves the club and wants to fight with them. But in this career mode, I kind of want him. I think he'd be incredible. He can play anywhere. Left, right, striker. We've got ex-Barcelona, Alenia. He could be a really good option in midfield. We've got Medina. I'm thinking I do need a central midfielder um, just to come onto the bench, really, in case one of my main midfielders get injured. We've got Boehner, if that's how you pronounce it. I think he could be a really good signing for us. Almeida, probably a little bit too good. Um, I'm not looking to sign a starter in midfield. I've already got a very good midfield three. Gonzalez, potentially a good young midfielder as well. And then looking at the forward options, I will need someone to play on that left side if Porto isn't very good. And Lazaro was a constant option for me in the Arsenal career mode. So I think he might be one of my signings that I make. We've got Baldanzi. This guy looks incredible, by the way. So definitely an option for us. I'd probably end up using him as a right winger, if I'm honest. I think he's absolutely rapid uh, left-footed. But to be fair, maybe even converting him to a striker could be quite fun. We've got Camelo, a young Spanish player that's got really good potential. I've always wanted to try him out since I saw his um, his stats. And then last but not least, we have Cho. Um, probably going to be more of a right winger, I guess. I, I don't know. He, he looks like he could be a very good player. Does anyone else think he looks like Reese Nelson a little bit? I think he does. Just, just a teeny bit. Um, so those are my targets. And in terms of my transfer budget, I have given myself a little bit more money. You know, when you start up a career mode and you can choose to have a starting budget, I gave myself 50 million, 50 million. It's not much. I'm not going to spend it all, but it means I can improve the squad. I am very pleased with my objectives. Everything is low or very low. So it's very unlikely that I'm going to get sacked in the first season. Youth development wise, obviously I will be using the youth academy. It would be silly not to, especially because the old uh, Girona career mode I did with them was youth academy only. So I will be doing some of that. Brand exposure, just don't lose seven games at home. Basically, quite easy. No objectives continentally. Domestic, I mean, finish mid-table. We should be able to do that. I, I'm pushing for top six this season if I can. Uh, and reach the round of 16 in the cup. And then financially, sell two players and sign one crucial player to replace them. So we will be selling players. I've got quite a few without a face, without a picture that I obviously don't want to keep. And I'll be letting them go. Uh, in terms of the team strategy, I've gone with Tiki Taka. Of course, this is the new thing they added in this ge in, in this game. And it's so average. <laughs> All I've done so far is I've signed four coaches, one four-star in goalkeeper, one five-star in defense, one four-star in midfield, and one five-star in attack. I don't think I want to do more than that because players grow too quickly. But there is confirmation of my tactical vision. It is going to be Tiki Taka. We're in Spain. Of course, it's going to be Tiki Taka. Right now, my training plan is just balanced. We're going to go through a preseason tournament, get the players fit and ready for the start of the season. But until then, we're just going to scout all of those players on my shortlist. And if you want me to add any players to the shortlist, leave a comment. Preferably go into the Discord or tweet me because YouTube comments, yeah, bit of a mess these days. 
Um, obviously, I'm going to be selling players, so we'll be getting some offers as well. One player that is not going is Gutierrez. That is a blocked offer. He is going absolutely nowhere. Um, yeah, these are some of the players that I'm looking to sell. Some of them might be pretty good for the future, but honestly, um, if I've added them to the shortlist to sell, it's because I don't intend on using them. It's as simple as that. Stuani, captain of the club. He's come to me saying greetings. Hopefully, he can uh, bag us some goals before we sign a striker. I, th I think we will need one. I didn't really prioritise striker. You would have noticed in my shortlist there, I'm mainly prioritising centre-back and midfield at the moment, but we will sign a striker. Suzuki, Luton want him. Absolutely. I think Suzuki will do very well in the Premier League. <laughs> what was he, 64 rated? We've got another offer coming in straight away for Eric Monionel. Monionel. Oh my God, I'm going to butcher so many names in this career mode. I cannot wait for the comments. But there we go. It's another player potentially on his way out. Wow, we're getting loads. Uh, Fuidias on loan. Loan to buy. Don't really want to do a loan to buy. I'll just do a one-year loan for the goalkeeper. And then we've had an offer come in for Allegri. We should be able to get rid of these young players, unlike in the Arsenal career mode, because the wages are significantly lower here. So I'm hoping they will go through. Artero transfer offer. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go through these really quick and then just show you who goes and who stays because we could be here for a long time. It seems like Suzuki could be going somewhere big, though. Maybe I'm missing a trick with him. Maybe he's going to be a superstar, but he could be on his way to the Bundesliga. I just got an email saying that Baldanzi has had an offer or there is interest in Baldanzi. Tommaso. I love that name. Tommaso Baldanzi. Baldanzi. <laughs> um, the thing is, they're looking at paying 25 million for him. And I'm probably not going to match that. I don't think he's exactly what we need. If I'm looking for a striker, I should go for a proper striker, not a cam slash centre forward. And I think, as I said, I would probably use him as a right winger or a cam. So I'm not going to match that offer. We can always go back in for him another time. Um, still waiting for scout, scout reports to come back. We've got Almeida, 78 rated. Very, very good. But yeah, as I said, still waiting for a lot of the others to come through. Suzuki has gone to Luton Town. Okay, fair play to him. And it was an A. The best possible deal was 820,000. So far, every other deal has fallen through, which is frustrating. Okay, this is a big one. This is a big one. We've had an offer come in for David, or David, I'm guessing it is, Lopez from Juventus. Now, he is a starting centre-back for me. And I think he's probably very good in real life. But we're playing FC24 here. The guy has ridiculously low pace. He's not going to be very good for me. And he's 33 years old. We've just received a pretty substantial offer here. Now, do I accept 8.1? I mean, a fair offer should be between 5.1 and 9.3. This is on the high end. I feel like, though, it's Juventus. They should probably be able to do the 8.5. Give me his value. That's what I'm thinking. And don't sell for less than the 8.1 they've just offered. I think that's fair. Still trying to loan out a couple of players and sell a couple of players, but still struggling. I thought it would be easier, but it's not. Oh, finally, we've got one going out. Monionel. He is going to be going to... Where does it say? <laughs> I can't remember where he's gone. Uh, but either way, we got a 1.2 million transfer fee instead of a 1.6. OK, we could have done a little bit better there. But that means we've got even more money in the bank. He has gone to CFR 1907 Clue. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, preseason tournament. We're obviously going to pick the one with the most money, I think. Mm, actually, for... For 100,000 less, it's a considerably easier tournament, I would say. Or is it? I'm going to go with this one, the European Shield. Now, obviously, I'm not going to play any of the games. We will be just simulating through. Um, oh, look at that. More issues with loans being rejected and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try again there. Um, 
Okay, so Juventus want to pay the 8.1. I'm going to accept it. And I'm really sorry, Girona fans, if you think that that's ridiculous because he's a starter. This is FC 24, mate. I'm not keeping a 33-year-old with one pace. Um, we've had an offer come in for Martinez. There's no way. No way he is staying. This is what we've been waiting for, though. Every single player is fully scouted now, I believe, on the same day, funnily enough. It's almost as if it's just timed in-game and it's not realistic whatsoever in terms of how many matches we've watched them play and how cool would it be if you actually have to go and see them play and, oh, that would be very cool. Right, let's have a look at them then. Who is going to be my centre-back of choice? So, Copete, is that how you say it? He is 75 rated, maybe not best option the thing is he's six foot four he's going to be a brute isn't he he's going to be a strong player Bushagli, however is smaller definitely a bit better on the ball could easily play left back if i really needed him to we've then got luchumi see i'd argue that luchumi is better than copete stats wise but he's older and actually is lower rated <laughs> Um, okay, we've got Totti Gomez. I think he was my preferred choice and probably still is. He's got the highest wage, though, yeah, by quite far. But we could get him for 8.5 million. That seems like an absolute no-brainer. Gomez, 74 rated. Of course, I'd be bringing him in, bringing him in on loan. Um, Pardo's stats are ridiculous. Really, really impressive. Ooh, Boehner. Okay. See, he's an all-rounder. I thought he'd be way more expensive. We're looking at 15 million. Okay, I've narrowed it down to two centre-backs. It's either Borshagli or Gomez, and I think I'm going to go with Gomez. He's taller, and I think he suits that position a little bit better than Borshagli, Boscagli, however you say it. So I'm going to remove him. That means I'm going to go for Gomez. I'm going to try and get the other Gomez as well on loan. That's done. Pardo, we'll look at him in a moment. Oh, actually, hang on. Marseille are trying to get him right now. Oh, see, I think I'd, I'd probably try and convert him to striker. I think he'd be a sick striker. I really do. Medina versus Boehner. I'm not going to go for Gonzalez at 70 rated. He's a little bit too low for my liking. So let's remove him. Baldanzi, we're not going for him. Um, and then strikers, Camelo. I like the look of Camelo, but he's he's not very quick. And I thought at five foot ten, he'd be small and quick. That's what I'm looking for. I don't want tall and strong and fast. Uh, well, I want fast. I don't want I don't want big and bulky. Okay, so I think I think Cho is probably a good choice as backup striker, but not as the main striker. Okay, I look, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to focus on one thing at a time. Let's go for Gomez. We're looking at 8.5 million. I'm going to try eight. Let's see if we can make him our first signing from Wolves. We'll offer a transfer fee. Actually, hang on. Could I swap? Someone that I'm struggling to sell. We've got Allegre here. Let's try and get rid of him. And I'll include him in an 8 million deal. So that gives them the 8.5. And let's see what happens. Oh, they want Daily Blind. I'm not looking to lose Daily Blind. Although he's very slow as well. Let's try a different player. Uh, we've got Espinosa. Oh, no. I'm going to be short on, on um, centre-backs then. Let's try Al Almena, is that it? Almena. Let's just go to 7950 then. And they're not interested. They want 8.3. I mean, I'm I'm gonna take that. That's fine. We don't need to worry about a couple of hundred thousand euros. So let's go ahead and delegate his wages. I'm gonna offer him how much was he on? It won't show me there, will it? There we go. 38.5. Um I'll try 30 or oh, no, I want to do this properly because I've got a feeling he might he might be a little bit upset to go down in wages, but he should realize he's coming to La Liga where wages might be just a little bit lower unless you're at Real Madrid, Barcelona, all of that stuff. He wants rotation. Mate, you're going to be a starter, but we'll go with rotation. That's fine. Four year contract. Yep, that's not a problem. Of course, we will. Of course, we will be including a release clause. I'm going to try and put in 20 million. And this is something I'm going to do for the rest of this series. Every player I sign will have a release clause. I'm going to try and bump it up a little bit. Let's go 25. I don't think he'll accept that, though. Oh, nice. He will. And he is going to come down on his wages. I'm just going to give him that. 23 and a half K. He wants 24. And he's got... Wait, how do I... Which way do I need to move to show you? There you go. 210,000 bonus. We'll accept that. 
The release clause is a thing that you have to have in La Liga, so I am going to match that. But this is my first signing, and it's a centre-back. I absolutely needed a centre-back. I don't really think another position is an absolute must, like a centre-back has been for us. So this is very good. And by the way, I'm dressed like my manager there, look. I've, I've, I mean, this is an Arsenal top and an Arsenal hat, but you get the point. So we've got a brand new signing, Totti, coming in from Wolves. Portuguese player, lots of Portuguese players end up playing in Spain. So that it kind of makes sense. I think he's going to be a really good option for us. And he covers at left back as well. He is going to be my brand new centre back. And best possible deal was a 7.9 million. We got 8.3. Moving on into midfield. I am picking between Medina and Baina. I don't know who I'm going to go for. We're looking at the exact same price, roughly. 14 to 15 million. One is one rating higher. Baina is 76. Medina is 75. Height, basically exactly the same. Medina, to me, seems like a bit more of a defensive player. Maybe a deep-lying playmaker, although Baina is actually better at passing. Medina's better at dribbling. They're both 75 pace. Baina is much better at shooting. He's got more play styles. He's Spanish as well. Do I, do I go for Baina? <laughs> Um, 82 stamina though. That's, that's quite a big thing for me. This is genuinely quite a tricky one. I'm not sure who to go for. Um, they're, they're so similar. They really are very, very similar players. I think I might go with Medina. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we do come back to that. I'm going to go for Pardo next. I think I should use him as a striker. I think he will be absolutely elite up front for us. And the fact he can play as a winger as well, tasty. Can we get him for 14 million? They are currently looking at selling him to Marseille, but I don't know how much for. I'm going to try a player swap again. I'm sure I've got a couple of players down here that I'm not going to keep. Artero, he can be included. And let's throw in 14 million. Is that going to get accepted straight away? I mean, almost. They want 16, though. 16.6 .6 million. I mean, I'll do 16. And that's a steal, by the way, for such a good player. They want the 16.6. .6. Just take it. I don't want to lose out to him. Don't lose. I don't want to lose him to Marseille. So we're just going to go ahead and do that deal. And we'll negotiate now. I'll try him as a striker. But he could end up playing on that left wing instead of Porto. And Porto could play as a striker, for sure. Um, important first team player. I mean, he's, he's going to be crucial, but we'll go ahead and accept that and a four year deal as well. And of course, release clause, uh, we'll try and throw in 40. I think that's a good amount. Yeah, he'll take that. He's going to reduce, uh, not reduce his wages. He's actually on very low wages because he's in the second tier, but I would have expected him to want a lot more than that. If I'm honest, I'm just going to accept that. Just take 24 done. He is a key signing for the future. He's not exactly what we need right now because we've, we've got Stuani and we've got the, I think he's a Ukrainian striker, but honestly, Pardo rescuing him from the second division. Welcome to the club. Brand new striker? I think so. Let's see how long it'll take to convert him. There is confirmation that David Lopez has gone to Juventus. I mean, yeah, like I said, not the most realistic deal I guess he's probably doing really well for Girona I'm not too sure I actually need to watch them play and and see how they're getting on I've, I've done a little bit of digging into maybe more of their attacking players I was looking at Sigankov is that it and Garcia and all of these guys no idea just how good defensively they've been but um as I've said this is FC 24 I absolutely needed to improve in that that position so he's gone Gomez replaces him and uh, it was about the same price so almost a swap deal how long is it going to take to convert Pardo four weeks and then he's a striker yeah he gained plus two straight away as I threw him into that striker role so not a problem there it does mean of course Stuani is on the bench is that sad yes but he's an impact player now we've got Pardo up front it's fine Still trying to sell a bunch of players. Hopefully, Yastin, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that, will go. We've got an offer here for Dovbik. This is the other player I was talking about. Luton again. Okay, well, Villa is going nowhere, or Villa, sorry. 
Uh, Allegre still hasn't gone. We've had so many offers for him. Maybe he's going to go to Motherwell. What do I do about Dovbik? Dovbik. I mean, he does seem pretty good. Stats-wise, he could, he could be okay. I think what we'll do is we'll reject it for now. We'll try him out. I don't need to do anything drastic right now. We are now going into the first game of the preseason tournament. We're playing against Premier League side Brentford. Pardo starting up front. Honestly, going into the new season, I think this is my first team. I don't think I need to make any other big changes at all. Just two signings and then obviously some, some maybe rotational players coming in. So let's go ahead and quick sim. It is just the preseason tournament and we've lost. So that's good. We lost in the last few minutes. Well, that sucks. But honestly... It's not a big deal. If anything, I'm using this to gain some match sharpness, some fitness, and hopefully that is going to help. We've got another player sold. I've sold three players in the last couple of days. This is Allegre going to Motherwell. God, imagine going from Spain to Scotland. The weather is going to be slightly different. <laughs> Just a little bit. Anything else? No. No. I mean, looking at the squad now, it's looking a lot better, a lot more trim. We've sold quite a few players. We are up against Sassuolo next. We're going to change a couple of players. Let's get Blind in there. Let's get... Um, hmm, I need to learn some of some of the best, uh, I guess, substitutions to make. Let's go with Solis in there as well. Let's go with Stuani. Uh, Valerie. And... Via. Just a couple of changes. We don't need to completely rotate. And then we'll quick sim. Oh, look at that. A 3-1 win. Pardo came on and scored. And Via got two in the first half. Nice. Barcelona want my new captain. No chance. Garcia is staying. If you want him, pay 72.9 million. <laughs> no chance we were ever going to let him go. He's my main player. He's, he's the main man for me in midfield. Up next, we have Monza. If we win this, maybe we win the tournament. I don't know. Just quick sim this one with the first team. There we go. 2-1 win. Porto and Pardo. Lovely. Let's see if that's enough to win the tournament. I'm guessing there might be one more game, actually. There is. and it. Oh, wait. Hang on. No. Ah, we didn't win it. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. And then we've got an offer here for Rocker. He is a player I was looking to sell. I mean, 1.2 million. That's his market value. Off to France you go, mate. Okay, I think I've decided, guys. I'm going to go with Alex Boehner. He is going to be my midfielder signing. I'm not going to go with Medina this time. Now, Boehner, I think, looking at his stats, if we improve his defensive and his physical stats, I reckon he could easily eventually be in the Hullet gang. He could have 80 everything. He could be insane. So we're going to go ahead and try and sign him. 15.2 million, not too bad. I'm actually going to delegate this one. Um, we don't want to pay the release clause, no. I'm going to start the offer, offer at 15, but I would be willing to go up to 20. I think that's a good price for Boehner. And we're going to try and loan in Gomez, who could also play in midfield. He could easily play centre mid. Cam, DM, left back, he can play everywhere. Man City are not interested. Should I just buy him then? <laughs> I can get him for 10 million. I mean, that's an absolute bargain. I think... I'd rather loan him, though, because it's a bit more realistic. It's it's Man City, although maybe they would be willing to sell a player cheap on the cheap. I mean, he's never, gonna get, he's never getting into the team, is he? Oh, I'm quite tempted. Okay, let's, let's try and lowball them. 8.5 to 12. How about that? Come on, then, City. So we're going into our first game of the season. We will find out if those offers have gone through afterwards, probably in the next episode, to be fair, because this will be the end of the episode once we finish this game. Let me have a look at the kits. I haven't seen our, our kits at all yet. And the lighting's a little bit bugged in this menu, by the way. So Pardo repping the alternative kit here, or alternate kit. There is the home kit, and there is the away kit. They're really nice. Very, very nice kits. We will go with the alternate one. Um, up against Real Sociedad, they've got a very good team. They really do. So um, let's just see how we get on. I think I'm happy with the squad. No changes needed. Pardo starts up front. He is, I guess, my star signing so far. So here we go, guys. Our first game in Spain. Can we get off to a winning start against one of the top teams, one of the better teams? They've got Kubo. They've got 
Um, oh, what's his name? Oh, Baron Achea. Is that it? Ba Baron Achea? And they've obviously got some other superstar players like Tierney. <laughs> I don't know if he's starting. Um, Oyarzabal. Yeah, very, very good side. But we are the mighty Girona. And I've given it away already. Here is Sigankov. I will learn how to say it. For now, he is Sigankov. Okay, the Ukrainian. Pardo with a great pass. He's actually been fouled there. I hope he's okay. Here is Savio. Young Brazilian. He's absolutely killing it for Girona right now. Oh, what have I just done? He's definitely a player to look out for. Maybe I'll sign him permanently. I don't know yet. Depends how good he is for me. But I think the rumours are in real life that a lot of big clubs are looking at him now. He's, he's looking like a superstar. But we are 25 minutes in almost. And there hasn't been a single shot in this game from either side. It's KG. Nice bit of space on this right side. Poke it through. Nice. Savio. His first real chance to run at defence. Look at him go. He's done so well. Pull it back. Pardo. No way. And he's offside. The first shot of the game. Can you believe it? It only took 35 minutes. Nice from Herrera into Pardo. Knock it on. Nice. Poor two now. Cross coming in for Savio. Oh, my God. He's good, isn't he? He looks good. I'm excited to use him. Into the 45th minute here. Real Sociedad do have a corner. I think that should be mine. Nice, Herrera. We're not going to get a chance to break, though, are we? Unfortunately, the referee's going to blow his whistle. Good first half. We should be winning. We've had the best chance. Although, have Real Sociedad had a chance? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, what a tackle. Nice. On the break now. Savio through the gap. No, I don't think he's going to make that. Oh, my God. He's still going. He's going to be so good. He really is. Here is poor two now. Little one-two with Pardo, maybe. I mean, it works, but it's not great. Back to Pardo again. Edge of the box for Herrera. No, they've got a little touch on it. Come on. I do not want a nil-nil in my first game. Here is Martinez. Pulling it into the box now. Go on. Pardo, you've got to score that. Are you kidding me? What a save. I, I'm not even going to blame Pardo because it was just an incredible save. Okay, Garcia to take the free, the, the corner, not the free kick. Pardo's there. Haven't been able to win it. Can I get the ball back here? Totti's there with him. Oh, I just got done. Okay, I'm going to make some changes now because I could do with some fresh legs, I think. I'm going to try Sigankov on the right. Savio on the left. I'm going to take Porto off and bring in Villa. And I want to give Martin a go as well. Okay, I might I might leave that. Maybe Stuani. Should we bring him in? Um, actually, I want to try Pardo on the left side as well. Okay, this is mental, but I'm going to take off. No, no, I'm not. I'm just <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now. I know Stuani's going to come on and help me in games. I don't need to do that right now, though. I think my best option is to leave Pardo up front. Well done, Gomez. He's got such long legs, isn't he? I think he was the right choice. I really do. Here is Savio. I still haven't got my changes on, by the way. The ball hasn't gone out of play. Ball over the top for Sigankov. Oh, really? If he chests that down, maybe we could have had a chance to get in behind. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, not Kubo. No. Oh, thing is, I know how good Kubo is now. I've used him and he's insane. So we do not want to be letting him get into the box like that. Oh, and I've lost it again. This is a tough game. It is. And Real Sociedad were always going to be a tough, a tough match. We've got three minutes left. Can I build it up from the back? Can we score a winning goal from here? Here is Miguel Gutierrez. I think that's his second name. Pass it inside. Okay, we're going on the right side this time. Sigankov now. Switch the play. Win the header. Oh, I shouldn't have headed it. I didn't think I'd get it otherwise. I thought chesting it down would be too difficult. Oh, 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 no! The ref actually blew his whistle there. And by the way, I'm playing on five-minute halves instead of four-minute halves. You'd think you'd get a little bit longer. And there's a floating ball. Oh, my God, a nil-nil to start off with. I mean, it, it could be worse. We're unbeaten. <laughs> For now, though, guys, that is the end of episode one. Tomorrow, 
one or two more signings. Can we get Gomez in from Man City? Can we get Boehner in from, is it Valencia or Villarreal maybe? We'll see. And then, of course, we'll be getting into our next game, our first home game. Thank you for watching. I hope you're excited for the new series like I am. And I will see you tomorrow.